Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? David McCumber here. I am in my favorite spot to be my mom's kitchen, which means we're probably going to be making some goodies today. And yeah, so we're gonna be making some Pokemon fondant chocolate. I don't know. My mom, she's she's in charge. So, but there's um some whoopie pies I'm gonna eat that I'm not supposed to eat. So, I was given specific instructions not to eat these whoopie pies, but they're homemade and they're so good. <laughs> What's up everybody, David McCumber here, and we are here in my mom's kitchen. My mom, Mary, you can call her Mimi to you. That's what you call her, you call her Mimi, I call her mom. The government calls her Mary. <laughs> but uh, I'll leave a link in her Instagram below. It is Good Eats by Mimi, and she is, you know, this blog, we talk about all about being creative and my creative life, but this is my mom's creative life where I got all my skills from. Hey, just say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be making these uh, Pokemon toppers, is that what these are called? Yes. My son's birthday parties, both sons were doing a joint birthday party. They love Pokemon. They love Pokemon so much that they fight over Pokemon all the time. Now what are these toppers made of, Mom? These are made, these are um, a white chocolate. And they're mo it's a molding chocolate. So it's edible? Yes, it's edible. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so, so now what's the first thing we're gonna do here? So we're just gonna take a little bit of the food coloring, put a little on the knife. When you say we, do I get to do one too? Can I do one with this one? Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm just gonna be... And if, it, if your hands, you can put it, this is a little cornstarch. On my just, hands? Yeah, like this? and it helps, because it gets sticky. Apparently I, wasn't, <laughs> apparently I wasn't doing a good enough job no, because- that, You said it was so easy. Not that easy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be easy. Apparently you wanna do this technique, not the technique I was doing. <laughs> yeah, how come my hands are like a mess and your hands are clean? A modeling tree professional. <laughs> Alright, so this is the white modeling chocolate that we mixed in the red food coloring. And pink. it looks like pink food coloring. Now we're gonna break off eight pieces, seven pieces, like how big? Like Just that big? not real big. Little couple of pieces for the feet. So these will be for the feet. Okay, now that's gonna get rolled into a nice, perfect little ball. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll this into a ball. Try not to mess it up. So now we're gonna make little feet. So we're gonna take these and you're gonna kind of roll them into an oval. Just a little oval like that. And then kind of make them a little flat. Now that's gonna be his feet. So you're just gonna stick them on the bottom. They'll just stick out like that. And do one on each side. That's perfect. Or yeah. it looks like a little jelly bean, like a jelly little, belly. Yeah, so there's a little jelly belly looking yeah. thing. And then that's... This is actually molds really easy. And I think, like, the warmer it gets, actually, the, yeah, it's the more easier. you work it, it gets, like... Hands? Yeah, hands. We are getting a Pokemon. Easy! Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. This is gonna... You're gonna make this into a triangle. These are the ears. Now this you're gonna roll up like a snake. Okay. Let's give it a little bop of the head. That looks like it's too big. The one thing about like making art that I just do whatever I want, and apparently so does my mom. So, do you like the way it looks? And not really. Okay. That's how I want it to look. All right. You guys like my haircut? You go to Sheer Sensations in Cape May. We got the body made of jiggly puff. We're gonna make what? We're gonna make the triangles to go inside, like the inside of the ears. So it's gonna be a triangle that's gonna go inside. The Trying. And what are we making this out of? This is black. This is black fondant. Black fondant. Yeah, is it fondant it. or fondant? Fondant. How come on the TV sometimes they say fondant? Are those people weirdos? Yes. <laughs> is that like a thing? Like within the cooking world? Like if you say fondant, you're like... No, actually some of the people in the cooking world don't like it being called fondant, but some do. And I... I can actually name a person, but I would That's in the bacon world. <laughs> Some serious bacon beefs going on here. What about, what's this thing? Is this like a little rolling just thing? Just a little rolling. What if you don't have one of these? Can you just use a rolling pin? Rolling pin? Rolling pin. Yeah, just okay. Like, if your rolling pin is sticky, put some cornstarch on it. You dingus. There's a tip. There's a tip for you. These are just going to go. It should, because this is still pretty sticky, it should just stick. 
to it. All right. Called dab and hold. So we're gonna put some dab and hold on it. This is like, um, this is actually glue. We're gonna put glue in it. But it's edible. Oh, it's edible. I'll be the judge of that. I, no, 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 please. No, no, no. Edible adhesive. I need to get it. Ew! I can't leave you alone for two seconds. It doesn't taste like it. It doesn't taste like it. Does it taste like it? Is it? So you put a little bit of the edible adhesive on there and you're going to brush okay. it on like it with a paintbrush? Yeah. I like to put it in a little cup. I like to have control over it because too much comes out. Right. Not, not a lot. I don't know. I got some on my shirt. It'll wash out. <laughs> so she's brushing on the, the edible glue onto the black fondant. And then um, putting it on this little guy's ears. All right, so this is a little little guy we got so far. We got a little jig, jiggly, jiggly puff, jiggly poof, curly puff. It's a Pokemon. So now we're gonna make his eyeballs. Make a little ball and flatten it. So you can make an eyeball that way. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Or you so can I make. I like yours better. Well, of course. I'm a professional artist. <laughs> and then are you using the? Edible glue for this as well? Yes. And then we'll do blue fondant. Look who came in to help us in the video. How you doing? Look at, isn't it cute? Yeah, that's cute. That it is, is cute. cute. Hey. Hi. Alright, so now Evangeline is going to help us make the little blue eyeballs of the, is it the pupil? Retina? What is that called? The iris. Thank oh, you. Nice. My sister is answering from the other room. She's very smart. She's very smart. <laughs> I like. So if you look in this video of my eyeballs, right there, you have that those white dots. And what that is, is that's a reflection from the lights reflecting off the gooey whatever liquid that's on your eye. And it makes a little white dot. So Pokemons have that as well. That little white dots whenever you're drawing. Adds a, uh, it's a light. This, it's a speckle. It's the sparkle in your eye. Oh, the twinkle. The twinkle in your eye. So the last step of making Curly Puff the Pokemon is... Edible markers. Actually, I didn't put that on my nose. So these are our Pokemon cake toppers for the Pokemon party. And so this guy here, so you'll see these ones have like a little bit of a shine to it. And you, my mom actually will, you'll spray them with like, what's it like a, some sort of? Yeah, it's an edible glaze. Everyone. I'll be the judge of that. I, no, 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 please. <laughs> edible glaze. It takes a bit. No, don't spray that in your mouth. And that makes it nice and shiny. Cause from working with it and the cornstarch and, and all that, the, the fondant it gets and it gets a little dull looking, but now this is a nice shiny edible glaze. It takes about no, don't spray that in your mouth. <laughs> it takes about four hours to dry. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me and my mom being created together in the kitchen making some Pokemon. Now we gotta make the cake and eat it. That's right. All right. And if you have any questions. Leave a comment below and make sure you give my mom a follow. She uh, is writing blogs all the time, talking about how to do all this stuff, how to do different baking, different recipes. Definitely check out the blog and Instagram. We'll see you guys next Monday. See ya. Well, if it's edible, you should be able to eat it. Don't say it's edible if I can't eat it.